Hello, strange tubers, and welcome back to let's sort out what weirdness was going on in the seaside town with me, Bluenculo. We are, of course, playing Super Mario RPG. And, uh, yeah, last time we were here, the villagers were weird. So, what's going on here? I'm not giving you the star. I know you're strange. Yerid... I've never heard of you. Impersonation of an ordinary person was flawless. Uh... Yeah. Somehow I doubt we're going to give it up that easily. Yeah. It's not going to happen. I don't really care. <laughs> Honestly. What are you doing to them? Look, we need the stars to save the world. I'm not giving you it. You tickled an old man. No. Oh, they send two guys in this time. Oh, you're really tickling him badly. You know what? I'm never giving you this star. Forget it. You can tickle the innocent civilians all you want, but I am never giving you my stars. We need the stars. Now, all four of them are going in at once. Sorry, real elder. You're just gonna have to put up with it. Quad tickling. But you bared it nonetheless. No, look. I'm, I'm not giving you anything. Why don't we just punch you guys in the head? I have a feeling this is where it just starts repeating. Either that or the elder is dead now. Did you kill the elder via tickling? Okay, one more try. There's no way I'm giving you the star, right? While those guys are gone, why don't we just smack this guy around a little bit? Ah, uh, I love it when you get shoehorned into stuff. Alright. Alright, Yardovic. Fine. Seeing as I'm not allowed to just punch you in the face, I'll give you my star. That seems pretty dumb. Yeah. Such a genius. I hate those guys so much. Alright, Elder. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Alright, you. You know what? I've had enough of your nonsense. We may rust a little bit. We'll have to swim. Alright, pirates! Thank you! These spineless dogs have no code of honor. Excellent. Alright, Faco. Group formation. Oh, good. I remember this one. Oh, it's gonna give me a headache. Oh, maybe I don't remember this one. Forget that. I thought it was a group formation. Anyway, I also remember that this boss can be kind of tough. <laughs> Let's do some poison gas first off. Might as well get it on him as early as possible if he is weak to poison, possibly. Miss, that's that's effective. Stunningly effective. Alright, jumping. Do a bunch of jumping here. See how this works. I do kind of remember Yardovic being tough though. We'll, we'll see how this works. Maybe I should have changed my party up. I think Gino might have been a good one for this one. Let's see how much HP he's got, though. Probably the Princess and Geno, because then you'd have group healing and maybe a bit more single target damage. Ooh, that's a lot of HP. Alright, he's got a water attack. Yeah! Yeah, remember when I said you should probably bring the Princess? Wow. Uh, I maybe should have just healed there, actually. Oof. Um, I just want to try out some more attacks just to see which one does the most damage. I think we're going to have Mallow use a maybe elixir, honestly. Alright, nothing seems to really do very much. Um, you know what, forget that. We're just going to do a single... There's no way he'll use that attack twice in a row, right? <laughs> Stupid Yardovic. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling Princess and Gino would be much better. Alright, he, he used it twice in a row. Isn't that great? Wow. 
That is insane. We're gonna die. Without the ability to, uh, to heal up in one turn. Do I, I have two pick, I have three pick-me-ups left. Wow. Well, I'm sorry, everyone. You're gonna get to see a game over here pretty soon, the way this is going. Yeah, if he just does that every turn, there's no way. There is no way. No, I, I, we're dead next turn. There's nothing I can do. Unless he dies right there. Oh, good. Now there's two of them. <laughs> wow. I actually did less damage than I was expecting. Maybe I could have, uh... I... Do you really think there's any way to come back from this? Maybe he's done using his stupid uh, water blast attack. Oh, that gave me a free one. I'm gonna run out of pick-me-ups, though, is the thing. Maybe I should have healed Bowser instead? I don't know. Oh, sure. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often, where you get a chain of heals like that. Most games, when you bring someone back from the dead, they don't get a turn immediately. Okay, well, we're back at full. Um, guys, they just did 126 damage to Mario in one hit. I assume that means he's the real one? Well, we're out of pick-me-up, so that's it. Wow. Wow. I don't know what to say other than, ouch. I, I honestly... I don't think we can beat him right now. I think we're gonna have to go do some grinding. This is crazy. I wonder why did Mario take so much damage specifically? But that was 126. We cannot even withstand a hit like that. Yowzers. I guess we really need to bring the princess with the group heal, honestly. I know I tried poison before, it worked that time. And, you know, let's just Thunderbolt, because there's two, I guess. I'm pretty sure one is fake. Maybe no... I don't know. I can't remember how this fight works, to be honest. I am annoyed that... Oh, no, I've got to pick me up. Did I forget that I had a spare? Maybe it was a freebie or something. All right, Mario... Uh... I don't even know what you can do. None of your special attacks were very effective. Guess we just punch him? Alright, there's his cheap attack. This is definitely the cheapest one. Alright, at least it didn't hit Bowser. Alright, we gotta we gotta keep everybody alive. Um Let's use a Mega Elixir. We'll be able to get lots of money. We're we're at 999 coins, so I can easily go buy and back some. I can go back and buy some more if I want to. Well, that was a little bit better on the damage. Now, he had like 1700 HP. We've got to be getting a little bit closer now. Okay, I hope it just doesn't one-shot you. Alright, it did a lot of damage, but it didn't one-shot you. That's what counts. Pretty sure Mario can do more damage than Mallow, so we'll let him attack. And then Mallow can heal. Okay, well, I think we've got a better handle on things now. Although I was pretty sure we were going to lose there for a bit. <laughs> okay, Flamestone. At least he's not using the... Like, he used attack everybody like four times in a row or something ridiculous. And uh, that's just not cool. Alright, um... We've got 14 HP left, or FP for flower points. Alright, Mirage. Now, we do know that the... Alright, we managed to block that. Whichever one is real seems to take pretty good damage from Poison and uh, Thunder, to be honest. Come on, Poison. Alright, so the top one definitely took the most damage. Let's try to smack him. That's pretty good. And... I guess we'll use a Thunderbolt here. 
Maybe I should have healed, actually, now that I think about it. Alright, good block, Bowser. And a bolt. Can't really block that. Alright, you're almost dead. We'll let Mallow heal you. Let's just see if we can single target this guy down. Alright, they grouped up again. I don't know if that damage counts towards his total HP or not. It probably doesn't. But it does get him out of twin mode rather quickly, at least. I suppose we're going to have to use some syrup pretty soon. If we want to keep healing like that. Ah, uh, knock it off with this water blast garbage. Oh man, that is just brutal. You basically need everyone to heal if you want to survive that. Or use like a mega elixir. Well, we've come far enough. We're not gonna let him win any. We're not gonna let him win now. I think we let Mario attack, and then uh, Mallow uses a, a flower potion. A s yeah. He. I mean, I'm assuming this guy's almost dead by now, but um, we'll just use some maple syrup. We're not gonna use the royal syrup. Forty is probably more than enough. Ugh! Cheap skate. Man, we're gonna use up all our mega elixirs here. This is what you get for not bringing the princess. Um, how many normal mushrooms do we have? Not a lot. Well, actually, what we'll do is we'll attack just in case he dies on this turn. Let's, uh, I don't know which one was better, super jump or super flame. We'll see if we can get a little bit of extra damage out of this. Maybe enough to kill him? Failing that, we'll have Mallow, uh, I guess, use a potion. Or use a mushroom. Dang it! I hate using these things a lot. They're pretty expensive, right? 150 a pop. Oh, good! He <laughs> well, I didn't need to use it that time. He finally burned up all his flower points. <laughs> well, you're dead now, buddy. I haven't seen a boss get to that phase in a while. Oh, and he was one hit away anyway, of course. Alright, well... We're learning new things. Uh, I do remember Yardavik was always difficult. So, uh, I'm glad we won without dying, although it cost us a lot of resources. He, uh, he had a physical attack that could kill you in one turn, and a magic attack that halfway killed you in one turn. So Bowser doesn't really get any good level ups. I think... Hmm, seeing as they're all so bad, Maybe we just give him special because plus one there is a bigger percentage difference at least, whereas the rest it's like barely noticeable. Maybe attack would have been better, I don't know. I kind of like his poison attack though. S the race for- there's two left! Alright, well, that was a lot of bosses. Let's go back- oh. We'll pick up this key on the way. It must have been Breeze knocking down Yared. Yep. A huge axe flying across the sky. Ax him a question. It <laughs> kills me failing. He is a shark. I don't know how long he can breathe out of the water. Alright, well, it looks like we've got a friend in the pirate. That's kind of cool. We've got some new music, so let's go check out the town. I guess we have to unlock it first. Hey guys, how's it going? You're welcome. No problem. Hey, mole lady. Hey, kids. Sure. No problem. I'll see you there. Hey, elder. No problem. Of course. Yes. <laughs> I believe you get a lot more money out of him if you just... <laughs> Give in immediately. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. One coin, I don't care. I don't need money. Let's go spend it. Alright. Beetles are us. Not really where I wanted to go first. A beetle business. Yes. You need to purchase a beetle box, which costs you some money. And then you go to Booster Hill, where there's beetles. You bring back the box with beetles. You trade them for stuff. What can you get? Well, a male is worth the price of the box. Golden is worth frog coins. If I remember correctly, this is one of the more reliable ways to get, uh... Oh, come on! 
initiation fee, cheapskates. But uh, I do believe this is one of the best ways to get frog coins. Oh, that's my identification. Sorry, I was wondering what was going on. So, um, I think that's a key item, right? Special item. Yeah, there you go. I don't think you have to buy that every time. It's just first time. What else do we got? Weapons and armor. That's what we want to see. Alright. Give me something good. <laughs> Kick with it. I love that. Alright. Um, we got a lot of weapons here. Wow, all the way back to the very... That's pretty expensive, weren't? This is the isn't this the basic hammer? I wish it told you the attack power here. I just don't remember which ones are the best. Um So Mario could equip The knock knock shell is old for sure. Why would a normal hammer be so expensive? Hold on, guys. Let's just cheat. I'm just curious as to why that was more expensive at the bottom than anything else. Yeah, it's definitely... Uh, that is weird. Why would you... I don't know why they would charge so much for that. Cheapskates. It's probably just the stuff at the top that we want. There. Everyone should have a new weapon from there. Let's see. We're spending all our money, but that's fine. We'll get the money back. It's exactly the same. Are you freaking kidding me? The masher that we picked up back in Booster's Tower is still as good as a weapon you can buy. Whatever, we're gonna use the new weapon just for fun. At least Bowser gets an upgrade. And Mallow gets an upgrade. Princess gets a little upgrade. And Gino, he gets a good upgrade. Okay. We'll have to use Gino again pretty soon. Alright, armor shop. Let's sell our old weapons. Chomp, masher, gun, womp, slap, and polka. Alright, we'll keep the accessories though. Okay, I... Is it... I don't know, this is... Sailor... I can't remember how you tell whether or not stuff is good. I guess... The Sailor one is just give you more armor. There's nothing for Bowser, though. He can wear the Happy Shell. Okay, hold on. I'm actually just going to look up on the... I'm going to go check the FAQ. Just because I can't remember uh, what the stats are on these things. It's confusing. I don't want to just buy it all and check it all individually. Just, just a sec. Alright, folks. We're good. I just had to double check some stats and stuff. Um, it, we probably should have bought Sailor Suits when we could have... Um, Keep pressing the wrong button. Um, we probably one of the problems we're having with some of these battles is we just don't have enough magic defense, and those should help out. Although it doesn't help with uh, Bowser. I don't know if that's better than what he already has. We'll just buy it. We've got enough money. I don't really need to worry about it too much. Basically, I like using those thick pants for a very long time, or sorry, the work pants because they add to your attack power. But, um, you can see the difference. 10 attack for 15 defense and 10 magic. I mean, it's probably worth it around the sailor level. Uh, and he can either use work pants or a happy shell. Is that worth it for him? Actually, no. I would say Bowser can stick with the work pants for now. But I will let everybody else get, uh, their proper armor. And I, I double-check stuff. Uh, the amulet is really good. Plus 7, I believe, to all stats. Except minus 5 to your speed. And the safety ring, although it's having a hard time telling about it. Yeah, it prevents against instant death attacks. Which is also really good. And um, it may also prevent against other ailments as well, perhaps. I can't remember exactly. Or maybe that's what the safety badge does. I don't know. Whatever. Point is, you know, there's lots of accessories. There's some good stuff we'll want later on that's better than any of that anyway. So let's sell our old armor. And that'll do. So we still got 600 bucks. I think it's probably prudent to buy uh, some pick-me-ups. Health food store. Okay, what do you got? You got... Oh, you got pick-me-ups. Alright. You always need a couple of these. Let's say five. Not too worried about the ailments. Honey syrup is garbage. 
Maple syrup is fine. Let's sell a couple items here so we've got space. Yeah, we're pretty full. Um, honestly, we'll just sell that. And we'll sell the honey syrup for sure. Royal syrups are really good. Hold on to them. I think this is okay. I'm surprised the sleepy bomb is not worth anything. We still got one mega elixir left. Alright, that's fine. And was there anything else I was going to do with the items? Oh yeah, I think I decided I was going to use the flower tab. As much as they let you recharge your flower points, I'd rather just have more. And I did look it up just for interest's sake. If you didn't torture the elder at all, you actually got a flower box. So if you're playing along, I recommend doing that. <laughs> a free flower box is way better than one coin. I thought it was just, you get more coins. Hidden amongst the mushrooms are some special ones. Three special mushrooms. Do we have any mushrooms? I don't remember how that works. I think we just bring him back mushrooms, and if he likes them, you get a bone. I, I might have to check that one out, too. I can't remember how that works. Accessories! What do you got? Oh, you're welcome. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be rude. Uh, we got more zoom shoes. Those are pretty solid. Nah, no big deal, no big deal, no big deal. So we've got one of everything she can sell. I don't really care. Zoom shoes are fine. There's other good stuff, too. Now, I do think I want to go buy uh, the experience badge. Do we need to heal or anything? No, we're at full health. No need to rest. No rest for the wicked. Where is... Wasn't the frog guy... Oh, he's in a different house, right? You know, the guy with the frog coins. I just want to talk to him. Is he in the elder's house, maybe? Kind of forgot where I ran into him last time. Above the elder's house? There you are. Hey, buddy. I have enough frog coins. So, I, I, I'd i also double-check this. It's only for the person who equips it. The coin trick is for the entire group, obviously, because coins are sort of shared. So, if you really need more coins, but, I mean, so far we've been having way too many. And then the Scrooge Ring is pretty solid, um, but I think we just want the experience booster. And it is only for the person who equips it, but it also works if you're not in the active party. So if someone's a little bit lower on level, let's see, for instance, Tollstool is only level 12, she's a little bit behind. If we equip this to her, and even if we don't bring her, she will get double experience. So it's probably worth having two of those, and whoever's not in battle just gets more experience, because it's a nice little passive buff. I think that's a, a probably a good way to use your frog coins, if you want. So anyway, uh, I think we have to talk to the elder maybe to figure out where to go next. Which I was just at his house and I, for whatever reason, skipped talking to him. Because I'm a genius. Alright, elder. Sorry about letting them tickle you. Yeah. Far side of Land's End is a town of monsters. That sounds like fun. You don't know where it is, just follow the road. I love how nobody that lives here knows how to get anywhere. You know, I have to imagine even a Mushroom Kingdom, they would still know... Like, the signs would tell them how to get from one area to the next. I guess you can't actually leave here. Okay, dead end. Gotta go out the main entrance. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Alright, so... Land's End. Let's go to Land's End. It's got a big mountain. Let's see what we find here. Okay, we got more of these things. I suppose I maybe should have saved it. Oh. Ah. This is the timing. There we go. Now, wait a second. Pretty sure, oops. Pretty sure there is actually something you can get on that one. Hold on. All right, we got five stars. We're doing good. I know we're only at level 13, but we'll get some more levels up eventually. All right, now, oh, I keep falling. It's very touchy. Oh, that was, that was a super jump. Oh, that's right. It, it timing. It's timing. I was 90% sure. Yeah, if you click... Yeah, you end up jumping way higher if you time it like that. You can go straight up. Or just 
I just want to do a normal jump to land on the platform. Okay, that's a normal jump. I was... I'm pretty sure there's a hidden block there. <laughs> Hold on a sec, I'm gonna test out. Alright, I was correct, it's just a little bit off. <laughs> there you go. So another red essence, another very rare item. Just a little bit weird to get the jump right. Anyway, there are a fair- I, I believe there's a fair other- there's a few other ones in here that I can just sort of barely remember. Ah, right, that. Takes proper timing to get to the higher level. Um... Oh good! That's how Bowser fights. <laughs> we throw Mario around. We do have a new weapon, so... It'll take me a minute to remember how this all works. Whack him with your stick. Good job, Mallow. There we go, double throw, that looks better. Alright. Not bad, not bad. I think we're gonna switch Bowser out for Geno for a little while. Let's do that. Bowser's pretty good and all, but, you know, Geno's you know, pretty awesome too. I think he's also got a new special attack, hold on. I think he's got a special attack that we haven't used yet, Geno Whirl. Press Y for critical damage right before contact. Alright, we'll give it a try. Maybe kill some dogs while we're at it. So, Geno Whirl. Uses a lot. Let's use it on the Octovader. Th what? <laughs> what is that? That was max damage. Is that how it normally works? Or did I just get a really lucky timing on that? I, I honestly, I don't remember ever seeing the damage go that high. It's like a critical weakness or something. That's insane! <laughs> 9,999 on a random enemy. Alright. Um, let's try that again, I guess. Actually, what I really want to do... I want to see if uh, Mallow can one-shot them all with lightning bolts. Thunderbolt. I think Lightning Bolt is a better name, though. Oh, no. That did not work very good. So maybe Mallow is the wrong character for this area. Seeing as his attack does nothing. Haha. <laughs> nice try. Alright, well, let's test out this Geno Whirl again. Alright. See if it always does that kind of damage. Okay, I definitely missed the timing, though. I didn't, I didn't even click at all at the right time, so. So, is the critical damage mean you just murderize everything? I'm not doing a very good job at killing everything today. <laughs> I think we'll go maybe Geno plus the Princess, or Geno plus Bowser, maybe? We haven't really used the Princess very much. I feel like Gino is worth using for a while because of that whirl. And there you go. Princess got her level up. She's got a new. Oh, that's the revive. I betcha. That makes her very useful as well. HP. She is pretty low on. That'll help. I think. I think I'm willing to bring the princess. Yeah. Bowser and Mallow can just take a timeout. And I might as well. I mean, the experience booster will work while she's in battle, but I feel like, you know, we might as well use somebody with the zoom shoes at least or something, and we'll let one of the random people get a bit of experience while, just a bit of passive XP while we're playing around. Alright, see if I can get the timing here. Not quite. If you time it right on the ding, you should be able to make it to that top top. No, that was a little bit too early. Nope, still a little bit too quick. Oh! oh I should have made it that time, I thought. Unless it's like... Unless this is how you're supposed to get up there. I, I don't think so. I think it's just a matter of getting the timing really spot on. I remember not liking these cannons very much when I was playing it as a kid. Now that was horrible. That seems close, but not quite. 
That was, that was a bad shot. Seems like that's as high as I can get. What is my problem here? Apparently I'm bad at this. Maybe I'll be off camera this as well. Come on, Mario, get up there. Hmm. Alright, hold on again. Hold on again. We'll see if I can get it. Alright, this one was a real doozy. I just spent a fair bit of time jumping around because I knew there was a way up there. That's what you need to hit. And uh so easy. I think we just There we go. It's a weird kind of jump. And it why is it not moving over? I thought I had it figured out! Maybe now that that's there... What the heck? Is there another one? Why is this not working? <laughs> I'm sorry, viewers. I thought I had it figured out. Oh! Okay. That wasn't there before. Alright, that that worked. Whew! There we go. I thought there was something else up there, too. How do we even jump that high? Oh, I know. The, uh, the platform will move over. There we go. Green frog coin. That was worth it, probably. One more thing. I want to see if there's anything behind it. No, you can't fall back there. Okay! Well, that took longer than I was expecting, but we did manage to get something. Alright, let's see, uh... Oh, whoa, 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 buddies. I wanted to see what these guys are like. Oh, they, they go for jumps too, that's cool. Alright, so we got Gino, we got the princess, we got Mario. What has she got? She's got... Sleepy Time! Only works on one enemy, and she's got, I think, Resurrect. Let's see how her attack is doing. Yeah, take that. Not very good. Definitely could have been better. <laughs> Confused monster, what? Well, that's interesting. I feel like we're really short on AoE damage right now. Um, without any Bowser or Mallow. But Gino and Mario can carry us. We'll just let the princess hang out for a while. We got a bracer. What the heck? Mario got a nice level up. Ultra jump. Ultra combo. And we'll give him some magic attack. Well, that makes up for the lack of the work shoes. So what is that bracer anyway? Um, probably uh, an equipment? No? I don't... Ri oh, there it is. Raises allies' defense. Okay, that's kind of cool. I don't know how rare that is. I don't remember seeing that. Oh, I... <laughs> that's not what I was expecting. Alright, Gino one-shots those guys, and he gets a free attack. I have a feeling this battle's gonna go pretty quick. I mean, the princess does decent amount of damage. Her her uh, timing attack is about as good as Mario's basic attack. <laughs> Alright. We're actually not getting a whole lot of experience here. It's enough, but it's not a whole lot. Oh, Snowy. I believe that's one of the really good ones. I wonder if that's enough to bring Mallow back into the group. Come on. Come on, Mario. Get up. <laughs> Alright. Let's, um... Let's switch out Toadstool for now. I, uh... I want to see his new attack. He's got decent equipment. And... Snowy costs a lot of flowers. But it should hit everything for good damage. And the AoE attacks really save a lot of time, so... For instance, this might be the perfect chance. Sleep Sauce... You take your sleep sauce and, I don't know, do something else with it. Alright, okay, seriously, I would like to get a turn. Okay, Mallow, you're going to kill them all, right? Yeah, a lot is riding on this snowy working really well. How does it work? Oh, it's a rotator. I hate rotators. 
I think the more you rotate, the bigger the snowman. It didn't quite kill everything. In fact, you could say it only killed two. Okay, no more sleep. So if I hadn't let Mario and Gino defend, we would have killed almost everything, I bet you. Still, I think if we're going to be fighting large groups like this, Mallow's probably the guy to bring. Even Bowser. Alright, that was pretty good. Lots of rewards for that. Ah. There we go. I don't mind fighting a couple of these little lizard dudes. Gekits. Oh, that was bad timing. That was a good block, though. We'll let Mallow finish off the easy guy, I think. Wow, that hurt. It's weird how some enemies seem to do way more damage with some attacks than others. And you can't really count on getting the uh, once again attack very often. Some enemies seem to drop it m m fairly regularly, but uh, can't really count on it. All right, let's use um, let's use some HP rain, and let's keep going. Fight another lizard. Maybe it's a big group. That's eh, pretty big. Oh come on! Would have been really nice to not have missed that. Willy Wisp on Mario. 30 damage. That's acceptable. Okay, the lizards are doing a great job. Okay, those guys aren't very tough, as it turns out. I wonder if Thunderbolt is enough to really handle it. Not really. It's snow or nothing, basically. Yeah, that's too bad. We didn't even kill that guy. I think we're doing okay, though. Oh, come... <laughs> I keep saying we're doing okay and then bad things happen. Also, is it just me or did the froggy stick do way more damage to that shy guy than normal other enemies? Seems like a good idea to ignore the Gekits because they spend like half their turns killing each other. Not that I'm complaining. Alright. 22 experience, 30 gold. How is our gold anyway? 767. Practically maxed out already. What we will probably want to do if we get to 999 is to go back and uh... And buy some Mega Elixirs. Or we can just remember to bring the, pe the princess for our uh, boss battles. Because that would have made things a lot easier, I'm sure. Good old group hug. It's like Chrono Trigger. You always bring a party that has a uh, dual tech that can um, heal the whole party in one move. So much better. Oh, it's going to be fun when I get to Chrono Trigger. That game I know better than this one. Alright, let's rotate this controller. Come on! Come on! That doesn't feel like that's any bigger than last time. Pretty good damage, though. Just not quite enough to kill these little plant guys. Maybe another level up or something, or even just equipping a better accessory. Bowser! What do you get? Punching? Not very good. I guess special it is, there. Alright. Now I got bees. Bees it is. Probably didn't need to jump on the flower to get to the bees. Okay, the missing is getting on my nerves. I think it's just flying enemies are slightly more difficult to hit. But... Okay, it didn't quite kill the flower in one hit, but... Wow, that froggy stick! That's actually doing more damage than I was expecting. And that guy does go down in one hit. Okay, these guys are pretty easy. They give you okay experience. For an easy fight, that's not bad. Oh, I actually... Did you see that? Did you see that, folks? I'll try to show that off again after this battle. Ah, uh, that was a misclick. Go, froggy, go. Go, froggy, go, froggy. I don't suppose Thunder would work that great on these guys, 
but it seems like physical can take them down relatively quick anyway. They're not that dangerous. Wow. I just noticed Mario has like no HP, but other than that, they're not that dangerous. Levels up around for everyone. Geno Blast. Oh, I kind of remember that being good. I, I've, I've, I've heard of that one. <laughs> I love how he just names all of his special abilities after himself. Alright, so did you see that I like stopped in midair there? That's a hint that there's going to be something if you can get the jump right. There you go. Alright, so now we're going to want to go up. I believe these work probably like that first area. Yeah, you can just jump around. Let's fight one more bee, I guess. We don't like bees. Oh, I should have checked out the new attack. Nah, we'll do that in the next battle. Wow, almost enough to kill, I bet you. I bet you they've got like 200 HP or so. Alright, if that's how it always runs, that's fine. <laughs> I don't mind doing those kinds of battles. Alright, we're going to have to fight this bee because he's in the way. Alright, so what we want to see here is Geno Blast. Hits everything, uses up a lot of your points. It's easy to use. Because you just want to make sure three stars and then you let go. And it's pretty powerful, yeah. It uses a lot, but now Gino has turned into our AoE murderer. So I think that that's really good. Level 14 is when Gino really shines. Oops. <laughs> Come on, Mario. Get your 3D in order. <laughs> oh, lots of bees. I'm, oh, we're, we're actually out of, completely out of special flower points. I guess we'll kill them the old-fashioned way. Well, that works. Combo. Okay, no more combos. I have seen before where you can, like, literally wipe an entire group out just from once again, if you get lucky. I don't know what the odds are. Maybe 50-50-ish? Makes them go down pretty quick, though. So, bees. If you ever run into a large, oversized bee in real life, just kick a shell at it. Oh, this thing. Yeah. I don't remember, like, ever making it over this thing. I'll try. Steal a bit of money. I better go for the explanation. You can cross in three ways. Just jump. Five coins for jumping. Special course. Go quicker. You make a teeny bit of money. Expert is the one you want to do. And you get a frog coin. We will try expert because the frog coins are worth it. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um... I could double the core! I could double the coins! No, we don't want to gamble. I got a frog coin. Um, I wonder... I just... <laughs> I just jumped off because I was wondering if there's anything down here. <laughs> there might be... I don't remember. I don't think there's anything down here. On the other hand, we can... Uh... Okay. Anyway, if you can, maybe this is the maybe this is the reliable way to get frog coins. It didn't seem that hard. Oh, well, that was oh, okay. That was bad. <laughs> maybe it's a little bit harder than I'd first anticipated. Come on, we need those frog coins, guys. I, I mean, I'm, I'm amazed that I made it on my first try. I suppose you could just be safe. Oh, right! You can't stay still. I was gonna. I was just about to say you could just be safe and wait for the bullets to come at you. No. <laughs> no, you can't. Uh, this is gonna look really bad. I made it on my first try and then I failed twice in a row afterwards. Okay, nope. That that wasn't fair. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I mean, five coins is not enough money to really matter, but... Oh, <laughs> I can't believe this. Yeah, 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 I take all my money. They made it, they made it easy the first time. 
for beginner's luck. Just to suck you in. Come on. Come on, Mario! Come on, Mario, you can do it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. alright. Woohoo! No. I'm never doing it again. Well, I might. If I need frog coins, I may come back here and uh, grind up some coins. Some frog coins. I think it's pretty quick and easy if you're if you can do it. What is this? Traveling mouse? Yeah, we're going to Monstro Town. Look for the world where the ant pops up and proceed after it. Okay, follow the world. See you later, mouse dude. I feel like there's probably... Oops, I actually didn't mean to do that. Yeah. I feel like it's likely that there's a secret here somewhere. Let's just save. You know, I have a feeling that this is a fairly long way to go before we get to the next town. So I think I'm going to cut the episode here. And next episode, we'll try to make it our way to, Mount, to Monst Monstro Town. So thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. And have a great day.